Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are on Beach Road. That's Kensington Road and this is this is Beach Road and just down there is the sea. And this is what you might remember as Beach Road Primary School. But is now today Cleveland's Community Centre. It's actually Cleveland's Community Church Centre because it's used as well by a, a very a very vibrant and lively church. So it used to be the Beach Road School, and I'm sure plenty of you came to this lovely little school. I love these old Victorian school buildings. I think they're lovely. Um, and then it became the Frank Townend Centre. Now, Frank Townend was a, a well-known person. I think he might have been the mayor at one point as well. And now it's looked after by a small group of trustees who run this building as a community resource. And I'm, I'm very well acquainted with this building because we have our Russell Beach Group meetings in here. And I've spent many, many, many hours in here. In, indeed, and we're looking forward to getting back to that again. But the community centre is in a little bit of a pickle. It could do with some help from the community. So this video is all about what's happening and what's going off and how you might be able to help. So we're going to go and take a look round. Well, the first thing that you can see um, is that it looks like it needs a little bit of assistance. I've had a little chat with that little coloured dove that sat up there. But it provides affordable room hire for loads of local groups, not just our beach cleaning group to meet in. It's a place for public meetings, for anybody to hire for whatever reason. There's loads of community activities that are in there. That's Cleveland Town Centre, so you can just see the top of a bus there. And this is the back of Derby Road Car Park. It hosts the full bank. It's somewhere for people to meet. And everything that they make out of room hire is reinvested back into the upkeep of the building. And that's why I've come around here to show you that these windows have been replaced on this side and indeed on the other side next to the car park. But the ones on the front haven't. Now, the, the trustees of the building have managed to save enough funds to be able to pay for this side doing. It's been done in phases. So these are going to be done very shortly and then the, the outside of it needs, needs painting and cleaning up. Um, so there's, there's, there's quite a lot of work being done and it, you can imagine it's like the fourth bridge. But there's loads of things that could be done and if the community is amenable, this is where we could do a bit of a DIY SOS and really put this building at the heart of what's going off in Cleveland because that's exactly what it could be. So, what's already been done? Well, you've seen the windows. Inside, it's been repainted, although it's all getting ready for, it's all getting ready for another, another tickle. Because you can see in here, the, the ceiling used to be, I can't remember whether it was blue or yellow, but it was very dark. And you can see that there's been a bit of a leak because it's got a leaky roof. A little bit of plastering being done up here so this is all getting ready for a repaint we've got some damp up here um, but our friends at Kirkham prison actually came and redecorated this i'm to imagine it's about four years ago now it's a while it's not it's not recently but this old school hall is the room that's used for meetings meals cups of tea etc so this is a room that we quite often meet in. This is, this is our old meeting room there. So there's plenty of chairs and tables and everything for everybody to use. And this had all been decorated as well by the guys from Kirkham. As you can see, we've got another leaky roof issue just up there. Um, so this is, this is all getting ready for a bit of a tickle. So if anybody likes decorating, <laughs> When you've been to my house and done all mine, you, can, you could come here. They'll provide all the paint and all the materials and all the gear that you need. I bet this is locked. No, it's not. Um, and you can, you can just entertain yourself and, and decorate. 
be a nice little job for somebody that's retired, that. And this is the main hall. This is the main hall of what used to be the school. This is the room that's used for the church meetings, as you can tell by the, the graphics on the end. So there's a stage. So if you want to put a, a, a theatre production on, if you're doing an amateur pr play or something like that, you can, you can hire it for that. So that's the, the, main, the main hall. This is... This is the home of the full bank at the back of here. And this is a, a small, quiet prayer room. And as you can see, it's all, it's all nice and clean and ready, ready for people to come and use it. So I've saved the best till last. So as, as far as DIY as the West goes up to this point, we're talking about some elbow grease. So if anybody's got some elbow grease, We'd really appreciate some elbow grease. So just get in touch. You can email me, jane at therabbitpatch.co.uk and I will, I will talk to you and give you some inspiration. Now this is the best, which I have saved until last. This is the kitchen. Now if you've been used to come into the community centre, you're probably familiar with this kitchen. It's, well, I think it's what you might call a little bit grim. And that's not being disrespectful to the people that run and use the building. It's, um, yes, it wants a bomb under it, I think is the expression that you would use. So ideally, I mean, it's only tiny. Ideally, it could do with all the lot out in a skip and all replacing and everything refitting. So there's the extraction system and everything in. That's not a problem. Because once the kitchen is bottomed, bottomed out, as you might say. Once the kitchen's cleaned up, it means that the rest of the community facilities can come into operation because what they're wanting to do is to reopen the community cafe. You'll have noticed that there's a, there's a um, hatch here, which is shut at the moment, and that's where they serve through into the, into the hallway. Um, and that's, that's the place where they hand you your food and your tea and whatnot. So all this lot really needs to go in escape. Or we could have a bonfire on the car park. Don't tell where council I said that. Um, it is a new, new oven. New, 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 just new. <laughs> so what we're looking for is kitchen cupboards. And they don't need to be new, they could be second-hand or ex-display or damaged. Um, I think we could do with some new tiles looking at them. We need a new oven. Oh, goodness. We need a new oven and we need new equipment. There's quite a lot of equipment in here that can all be cleaned up and, and reused. We're not talking about sort of creating as much waste as we possibly can do. But once that's done and open, they can then start re-offering community meals again. And ideally, it would be nice to then get a luncheon club going or a popping club or whatever for people that are needing, needing friendship and, and company. Because there's one thing that COVID has shown us all and that's that we all need, we all need friends, we all need one another. So, can you help? And then, of course, we need people to do all the stuff. We need people to do all the work. So I realise that this is ambitious, but it's only a tiny, tiny little kitchen. And just imagine, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine, if we could get that all refitted out. We don't need to do it in Nick Knowles' speed and do it in two days. You can, you can do it in your own speed. If we could get that sorted out and then get this full of people every day, all chatting and enjoying one another's company somewhere where you can drop in and you've not got to, you know, buy a meal and spend a fortune. You can just drop in, talk to people and be involved in your community. So let's see if I've enthused everybody enough. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can uh, manage with that challenge and there's a hatch look from the other side. If you want to get involved, 
send me an email to jane at therabbitpatch.co.uk and we'll take it from there. I'm sure you can do it. See you later. Bye for now.